Top 5 Animals Living in the Mariana Trench Hello everyone, we all know from school that the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on our planet. It's a known fact that the pressure in this tectonic fault is more than 1,000 times higher than the average atmospheric pressure on Earth. So what creature could live at a depth of almost 11 kilometers? None, you say? Well, actually there are some, and for decades they've been intriguing researchers around the world looking into the depth of the Mariana Trench for life. If these deep sea creatures were brought to land, they would die on the spot, because their bodies are adapted to completely different living conditions. And you can imagine what would happen to a human at the bottom of the trench. No wonder the deep sea regions of the world's oceans are less explored than space. Just imagine all the secrets these depths still hide from us. So let's begin, and welcome to Brain Getty. Number 5. Sea Cucumbers These animals, which are sometimes mistaken for jellyfish, aren't quite harmless to humans. Sea cucumbers spend most of their lives crawling through the seabed, including the bottom of the Mariana Trench. By the way, it's believed that it was this creature that was seen first by members of the 1960 expedition to the Mariana Trench and not a flatfish. Holotherian are sedentary and very clumsy creatures. Nevertheless, they have a special defense mechanism against enemies. It's a poisonous substance in their intestines that's released into the water when they feel danger. In addition, Holotherian can also be useful for their fellow oceanic neighbors. If necessary, they are able to provide some organism with a body to live in. Interestingly, in Asia, and especially China, sea cucumbers are actively used in cosmetics and cooking. But of course, for this purpose, they're usually grown artificially rather than extracted from the depths of the Pacific. Number 4. Anglerfish This fish is also known as the sea devil. You must have seen some pictures of it. Nevertheless, there are almost no real photos of this fish in its habitat as it lives only at extreme depths which are difficult for humans to access. The name of this creature is a direct reference to its appearance. The fact is that the anglerfish has a special rod with a flashlight on its head used to lure the prey in. In fact, it's a special gland with bacteria inside it. The anglerfish itself decides whether to turn its lantern on or off, expanding or narrowing the blood vessels. So if the vessels expand, the torch receives more oxygen and starts shining brightly. And if the blood vessels are narrowed, the light goes off. And when another fish approaches the evil light, the angler just opens his mouth and sucks in the fish in the blink of an eye. The extravagant look is completed with a huge mouth, the teeth as sharp as a razor, and a shapeless body. The size of the latter, by the way, depends on the sex of the fish. The female body can reach one meter in length, while males are no more than four centimeters long. So the tiny males often live as parasites on the body of the females attaching to it and gradually becoming part of it. Female anglers are particularly bloodthirsty. For example, they can swallow a prize several times larger than they are. Sometimes, this even leads to the death of the predator itself. That's what happens when you're too greedy. Number 3. Hermit Crab At first glance, this hermit crab doesn't differ from other similar species living in shallow waters. But if you look closely, you can see that, in fact, it's holding a sea anemone with one pair of legs. It's a flower-like coral polyp, which serves as the protective shell of the crab. Usually hermit crabs use empty shells of shellfish instead, but this species has a slightly different structure because of this. It may seem that this deep-sea hermit crab has fewer legs than necessary, but in fact, it just uses two of them to hold the anatomy in place. When it moves, it looks like a spider. Sorry, Aranamorphae, you must feel pretty uncomfortable now. Number 2. Bioluminescent Jellyfish Scientists learned about the existence of this creature in the Mariana Trench very recently, only in 2016. The incredible images of this otherworldly beauty are captured during the deep water exploration of the Mariana's expedition. This fantastic jellyfish was discovered by researchers at a depth of almost 4,000 meters. According to scientists, this unusual creature is most likely a predator. Proof of that are its bioluminescent, pulsating head and its tentacles. There are also speculations that the yellow organs in its head have a reproductive function, while the red organs are responsible for digestion. Number 1. Giant Grenadier This bug-eyed fish, which can be up to 1 meter long, is usually found just above seafloor level. It floats slowly along its surface in search of living prey and uses a special chemical compound with a pungent smell to protect itself. 
By the way, grenadiers are considered to a species under snailfish. They can live as long as 70 years, and in some countries, the species is also valued in cooking. Experts say that this fish tastes much better than even the finest Atlantic cod. It's important to note that only fish that live in shallow waters taste good. The deeper it lives, the more pronounced the fishy smell is. This is caused by the trimethylamine oxide, a compound that helps fish survive under extreme pressure. So eating a grenadier caught at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is not a good idea. What do you think about these animals living in Mariana? Are they dangerous? Will you love to see one? Please let us know in the comments section and subscribe to our YouTube channel.